Hey guys, back again with another video, and I got a little trinket for you guys here today. This is my Palm Central, and I'm going to show you my games collection for this. Great phone, uh, I believe it's for Sprint and at and I'm going to be rushing a little, guys. I kept to do this under 15, because I think YouTube made you able to do under 15 videos now, 15 minute videos. This is going to be a long one, I'll try and do it quick. If you're not a fan of uh, mobile games, I wouldn't be interested. If you're interested in any of these games, let me know, I'll try and find a uh, send you a link if you PM me, and if you're interested in any of the gameplay for these games, let me know because th some of them are hard to explain. So I'm just gonna do this quickly, and let, like I said, let me know about any games if you want more in depth. I can definitely help you out with that. All right, first game is Ace BT. I believe the BT is because I deleted the other version or something. So just Ace, and what it is is basically year one. You're an airplane and you're trying to shoot down another airplane. And you're just trying to, it's basically like a cat and mouse trying to, not really even cat and mouse, just trying to avoid each other and attack each other. This is Arvale, one of my favorite games for this phone. It's an RPG, really great RPG actually, turn based. Uh, you move using the stylus on the touch screen, you just touch around where you want to move. Uh, really great RPG, good controls. You can save, load, it's, it's great. Uh, Astro, which is basically asteroids, but from the ground, and you're trying to shoot up at asteroids falling down on your planet. And uh, I'll show you that. Then we have Bang, right there, which is basically you shoot ducks, and you shoot the ducks, and you also shoot, I mean, all these different things ducks, cans, everything, and you use a touchscreen and then tap it to shoot. This is basketball. You just sh shoot basketball into a hoop with a touch screen. Bejeweled. Bowling, which you slide the bowling slide the stylus across the touch screen right up there to like shoot the ball towards the pins. Blackjack. Uh, this game's bzz, b z z z z z bzz, and um, you're basically a frog and you tap the flies. To uh, shoot the frog's tongue at the flies. Uh, I have a chess game. Chess Quakes. Chess Quarters. Does it finish? I don't actually know. I haven't played it. This is Chromatic. And what it is, is it's chess, checkers, and bad game and all in one. This game is called Classics. And what it is, actually, it's a bunch of different games. And the games are Aquablox, Aquablox Plus, uh... Jewel Master, I believe, is what it's called. Uh, Fireball, Cannon, and Snake, and I'll explain them. Jewel Master, or Jewel, yeah, Jewel Master is basically Bejeweled. Uh, aqua Blocks is Tetris, but like an Aqua type theme with Aqua. Like the blocks look like little squares of, I guess, water kind of texture. Uh, cannons is basically you're a tank and you're shooting at another tank with using like distance and power trying to like set your set like a distance and power meter to shoot the other tank and fireball is basically brick breaker if you're familiar with like the blackberry type thing or uh, I think it's breakout if you're an Atari fan but it's more like has more power ups better graphics of course and you use a touch screen to slide your platform around and finally snake which is you're a snake and you're trying to eat other things to make you go bigger this is curling, and if you're not familiar with the sport, uh, you throw a stone to try and get to a target, and you sweep away at the ice to make the stone go faster. And if the ice is, if you don't sweep, the stone will obviously go slower. So you try and balance that out, and that's what you do in this game. You basically sweep with the touch screen away at the ice to make your stone go faster. This game is called Dames, and I think it's just Dames in Distress, and it's an interactive book basically. So you basically make decisions as the book goes on and control the outcome. This is Darts Deluxe, which is a darts game. You use the power meter to shoot your darts. Uh, Diddlebug, which is basically just a drawing thing. Uh, it's like Sale Wars, where you try and sell different things to make more money. And the more money you make at the end, like you you can like die and people can hunt you down and like rob you. And once you lose all your money, you lose. Or if you end up dying or something then where, however much money you have when you die is what your hard score is. Dynamite is one of those games where you try and map, you shoot, 
uh, little balls to try and, and match the colors to get rid of the balls and try and clear the stage. Except for instead of balls, it's eggs and dynamite. And that's dynamite. I know I haven't showed these. And the one on the left right there, that right there is Dope Wars. And that's Diddlebug. And that's Darts Deluxe. Farkle is a dice rolling game. You try and get points at from rolling dices in pairs. Five Chess is Connect Four, similar to like a Connect Four. You try and get four, except for you trying to get five in a row instead of four. GTS right Racing, it's a racing game. It's pretty straightforward. Really great graphics for a phone for sure. Same with Hellfire, made up by the same people as GTS Racing. You're a helicopter and you're trying to fulfill missions that you're basically told to do as a helicopter, you know, sh shoot down enemy defenses, uh, you know, re recover prisoners and stuff. Legacy, I believe, is an overhead RPG with similar combat to like a Dragon Age, just it means a phone, so it's not as great. There's another game I'm going to talk about later on called The Quest. I'm not exactly sure if that's um, that's what the overhead is. Like the quest might be the overhead with the Dragon Age combat, or Legacy might be. So I'll get back when I get to the quest. I'll explain what I think the quest is. But Legacy is either an overhead Dragon Age RPG or similar to like a uh, Final Fantasy Star original type RPG like that. Or that's the quest. I'm sorry, I, I confused the two. Uh, if you have any questions, if you want to look forward, I can answer the questions later on after I play. I haven't played them in a while, so I'm really sorry about that, guys. That's my fault. Lemmings, which is the same as the NES game. <coughs> Excuse me. Desailly Soccer, soccer game. McEcho, basically Simon. Oop, my phone's ringing. I'll just ignore that. Sorry. Um, Mage's Maze, similar to the Fantasy Star. Mars, you control you control a little Mars, I guess, rover, and you try and jump over uh, little craters and also shoot down aliens. Moon Intruders is basically Space Invaders. Uh, let's see, police. You're a policeman, you're trying to shoot down robbers with a touchscreen. Prison is another Brick Breaker breakout type game. Revenge is an, probably my favorite or second favorite game on this uh, year. It's real-time chess, is what it is. You try and capture the king before they capture yours. You can't move the same piece um, more than once. Like You move it, and then you have to move another piece before you move the, the piece again. Really great game, really fast-paced. Uh, definitely my favorite, one of my favorite games on this phone. Ricochet, uh, which is... I don't know if you saw that quick enough. Ricochet... Uh, breakout or brick breaker type game again, but it's more space themed. Rocket Mania, where you connect the pipes to get the f like you have to move the pipes to the right area so the flow of fire moves through the pipes to launch your fireworks. Sea War, which is battleship basically. SF Cave, if you haven't played Helicopter, you basically control instead of a helicopter, it's a little ribbon, ribbon, and you're trying to avoid the uh, obstacles in your way as you move through the cave. Space Combat, it's a first, I guess, I don't know, if not fully first person, but like a space simulator. So compared to like a Top Gun, I believe would be a good comparison, Top Gun on the NES. Better graphics, more like a polygonal type graphic, uh, and you're shooting other ships and moving around and that sort of thing. Definitely, I'd say it's a little better than Top Gun, actually. Sudoku, pretty straightforward. What I was talking about before, the quest might be the Fantasy Star type game, another Fantasy Star type game, might be the Overhead Dragon Age. If you have any questions about either of those two, like you're really looking into this, let me know and I'll definitely help you out. And text twist. Traffic, which is when you move the cars, try and get them out of the parking lot by moving other cars. It's a puzzle game. Village Simulator, which is like a village tycoon, I guess, if you're really going to call it that. And finally, well not finally, I'm sorry, I have another, is the dice, which is Yahtzee. And now finally is MLT is what it says here, but it's really called mini tanks. And what it is is you control a tank and you're trying to shoot down enemy tanks through this level. 
Uh, great, really great graphics for a phone. Uh, maybe not as good as the racing or health. Uh, I think better than Hellfire, not as good as GTS racing. It's still really great. And what I was going to say for the surprise, for you game collectors, this might be interesting. You might get mad at me about this, but I think it's great. I mean, honestly, not a big emulator guy, but what it is, it's called LJP, Little John Palm. It's an emulator for a mobile phone, and it plays NES, SNES, Game Boy, Genesis, Neo Geo Pocket, TurboGrafx-16, Game Gear, uh... All the Ataris, uh, 2600, 5200, and I believe the other one is 7800. I'm not positive. Not a big, I'm not a big Atari fan. And it plays ROMs for all of those systems. So, I mean, this is really great for on the go. Um, highly recommended. I'm not an emulator guy. The, it's, it works really well. Customize your own controls. You can save, uh, like have special saves. Uh, oh man, it's the best emulator I have ever used hands down highly recommend it definitely if you get a Palm Centro get this it's really hard to set up unfortunately I, it took me about a week to figure it out I figured it out and if you guys decide to get this if you have a Palm Centro or buy a Palm Centro and you want this talk to me I'll try and help you out I have a Mac MacBook Pro so I'll, I don't know if it's the same or different but I'll try and help you out and there are definitely some tutorials on YouTube as well so like I said before, if you want any gameplay for these that you're interested in, because it's hard to exp I didn't explain it well and it's hard to explain, let me know. I'll definitely post a video for you or try and find one for you. If you want a link to any downloads, I'll definitely uh, hook you up if you guys want. Just PM me, send me a message. I'll do that for you guys. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.